Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage? If you've watched all my charity shop episodes recently, you'll have seen this box containing a radio controlled plane in two of the previous episodes. In the first episode I showed it in the charity shop because I didn't buy it and I gave my reasons for not buying it in that episode and then in the second video you see the box in the background because I went back another day and I did buy it and there's quite a bit to talk about with this so I'm giving it an episode all on its own first thing we'll do is open the box which is what I did in the charity shop on the second visit set of instructions, how to assemble it, where the batteries go, and even how to fly it and how to repair it, or as it says there, how to install the spare parts. So that's a good start. It's made by Nico, N-I-K-K-O, and it says there copyright 1988. So this is pretty old. It needs four AA batteries for the transmitter and six D size, they're pretty big, for the charger, and it has a NICAD battery inside, which is removable, which is rechargeable. I don't know if the picture will be clear enough, but it's got an electric motor with a gearbox. It's got the receiver, servo and battery compartment in a unit there. It's a single channel, just a single push rod that operates the rudder. So there's no up and down, it's just rudder left or right. And flicking through it very quickly, it talks about having a 200 yard range. Which is not bad if we actually get that from it. So the idea is you just basically fly around in circles, get the hang of actually learning to fly. We'll have a look in the box now. And this is why I bought it. Because once I looked in the box, I thought that's actually in perfect condition. I expected it to be well beaten up at that sort of age. But the wing is fine, no sign of any damage on it at all. It's polystyrene or styrofoam moulded. It's got an airfoil shape um, concave underneath, convex on top. It's got bits of sticky tape on there to protect it where the rubber bands go. Tailplane, again, perfect condition. Fuselage, no sign of any major damage. It's just the tiniest bit of a crack there. Looks like it's been glued back together at some time. See the receiver and servo inside there with a crystal there to set it to. It says channel number four, 
which I'll talk about in a minute when we look at the instructions. And then NICAD battery plugs in there. There's the NICAD battery. Now, this is where we start to worry about things a bit. If that's no good, I don't know what the chances are of getting a replacement. And it's 4.8 volts. So you haven't got a direct LiPo replacement. LiPo is 3.7 or 7.4. So you're not going to be able to just stick a LiPo in there and expect it to work as well. 3.7 will underpower it and 7.4 might burn it out. I won't take the front apart, but I can see the motor assembly in there. This is the charger unit, so you can charge it when you're outside. No corrosion. There's even a complete set of batteries. I've no idea whether they're any good. Two spare propellers. Some rubber bands. Transmitter, again with the crystal in it to set the frequency. Now all that we do is left, right. That's the only control you've got. Left, right. Oh, and on and off. Got the aerial. That looks like that's in good condition, not bent at all. Got the wheels. There's a couple more AA batteries in there, which I can't quite get my fingers on, so we'll worry about that. And there's also a little bit of plastic there that goes on the end of the fuselage. So, that's the simple unboxing. That'll do for this episode. I'll do a second episode where I'll try the batteries out. I've got some new ones anyway, so that. We'll put it together and we'll just see if we can get the engine to run. Because I've bought this, it is now pouring down with rain outside. The weather has finally broken and it's been raining for, well, a good day. So whether we ever get to try and fly this this, this year or whether we have to wait until next year, I don't know. But we should be able to try it out indoors at least start it up and see if the controls work.